we worked on the rocket base as one of a variety of alternatives to offer that can marry up with either the high back or the low back. The initial sketches were worked upon by my colleague, so there were some hand sketches for the rocker. And then we obviously moved on from that initial idea and developed it on our CAD system. We then built up the design and created the basis of a 3D CAD model. From there onwards, we moved on to making some rapid prototypes where we use our 3D printer to create an initial model that we can just look at in scale format. The actual manufacturing process, we buy in the raw steel and then put through the various departments through our machine shop so it will be bent on our reverse 45 bending machine, which is a double-headed machine, which means you can bend a number of bends all at one time rather than having to manually bend each one. Once those bent parts are made, they'll be trimmed down to size and then they'll be set up in drilling fixtures. Once those parts are processed, we will bring the steel parts together into a welding fixture and assemble the frames. It will then go through our polishing department. The frame will go through on the conveyor in through the paint booths where the powder coat is applied to the frames and then it will go through a curing tunnel where it's cured at around about 200 degrees C. Once it comes out of that curing tunnel, the frame will cool down and be ready to go into the upholstery division where they will fit the upholstery sets to it. They'll put the foam on and then finish the final sewn covers. The thing I like most about the Juneo range is that it is actually creating quite a different feel of product to the type of products that Burgess is traditionally recognised for making. The way that we've treated it with the different fabric choices is breaking quite a lot of new ground for us. To sum up the design in one word, I would call it a rule breaker. It's creating something for Burgess that we haven't had before. We are pushing the limits, not only on the technical side, but on the visual side as well.